क्योंकि फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी नाइन में दिया है इन ए डोमेस्टिक सर्किट फाइव एल ई डी बल्ब आर रेड एस शोन इन द फिगर नाउ द सोर्स वोल्टेज इज टू ट्वेंटी वोल्ट एंड द पावर रेडिंग ऑफ ईच बल्ब इज मार्क इन द सर्किट डायग्राम सो बेस्ड ऑन द फॉलोइंग सर्किट सो दिस इज द पावर वोल्टेज इज द सोर्स वोल्टेज एंड देर आर फोर बल्ब कनेक्टेड हीयर with the rating 11 watt and 55 volts so based on the circuit diagram we have to answer the following questions what happens when key k1 is closed so when k k1 is closed so that means now the current starts flowing in this circuit so in this circuit the current starts flowing so this is the continuous path for the current so that means the bulb a will glow when key k1 is closed so we can write that bulb a glows in this case so in this case you can write bulb a glows okay now for the second part what will happen when key k2 is closed when key k2 is closed now this is the continuous path for the current this one we have to find the continuous and the closed path so that means b c d and e will go so we can write bulbs so bulbs b c d and e close okay for b we have to find the current drawn by the bulb b when it glows so current drawn by the bulb b when it glows and so for bulb v power is given which is 11 watt so this is for bulb v power is 11 watt and potential difference is 55 volt and we have to find the current we know that p is equal to v into i which gives me i is equal to p by v p is 11 so this is 11 by 55 which gives me 0.2 ampere so this is 1 by 5 which gives me 0.2 ampere so 0.2 ampere is the current when the current drawn by the bulb is 0.2 ampere so this is drawing a current of 0.2 ampere so that means these are connected in series so every bulb will draw a current of 0.2 ampere now C says we have to calculate the resistance of bulb B. So for bulb B, we have current which is zero point two ampere, and potential difference across that for that bulb is fifty five volt. And we know that V is equal to I into R. So R is equal to V upon I. So V is fifty five. I is point two, which gives me five fifty by two. This is now two seven five. So two seven five ohm is the resistance of bulb B. <coughs> now we have to find the total resistance of four bulbs B, C, and D. So total resistance of Bulbs B, C, D, and E. So these are connected in series. So that means these are connected in series. So that means each of them will have resistance two seventy five plus two seventy five plus two seventy five plus two seventy five because they have same ratings. And the total resistance will be eleven hundred ohm. Okay. Now for the last one. it says what would happen to the glow of all the bulbs in the circuit when k1 and k2 both are closed and the bulb c suddenly fuses now both are closed so that means the current is flowing in both these circuits but if this one fuses so that means this circuit is broken so this one a will keep glowing while B, D, and E will not glow. So we can write bulb A
So bulb A will keep glowing with same brightness while other bulbs, that is B, D, and E, will not glow. <clears throat> will stop glowing and C will also because it is already fused. <clears throat> 